Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of the Bee Tutorial. I am Mountain Goats, and welcome to the Advanced Genetic Machines. These things are insane, and you guys might get a little confused. If you get confused, I urge you to um, reference this video and reference the wiki multiple times, because it's going to... It's going to take a while before you get everything. I'm going through every single advanced machine today for you guys. Uh, da, 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 F1 is the key. So, what are the advanced machines? What do they do? We have the gene pool, and we have the sequencer. We have the splicer, the isolator, the replicator, the purifier, the inoculator, the inoculator. Oh my gosh, I just got that. Do you know how long I've been using this thing, but I haven't? figured out what it was it's the inoculator it, and the synthesizer and I found it out on camera too how brilliant so what do these do what do these things do the gene pool let's start with the gene pool because it's the simplest thing so you know how I told you to keep your bad bees right there's two reasons one reason is you can make uh, good bees out of them the other reason is this you can put them in here and make liquid DNA all right, you're going to need liquid DNA for a few machines, and that's what I'm doing right now. All of these bees here are making liquid DNA. Sorry for the voice crack. Um, and if you also, since these are so confusing, there's also information things. A gene pool extracts liquid DNA from bees. Princesses, queens, and analyzed bees are worth more. So queens and Analyzed bees are worth more DNA. So if you have analyzed bee, these are not analyzed or queens. Um, you'll get more liquid DNA from that. Um, all right. So the G pool is just making liquid DNA, and you can see in here we have liquid DNA forming. That's because they got pipes back here, and it's uh, shooting to the machines that need it. Let's go to the sequencer. The sequencer. Um, I recently found out about these. These are. These two are kind of cool. <laughs> so, if you have quarries running in your world, you know that you get um, rocky bees a ton. Rocky bees are like the thing you get, and nothing but rocky bees, um, and you have hundreds of them, right? What if you want to make those into different kinds of bees? That's what these two are for. And actually, the splicer is supposed to go first. How do these things work is very, very simple. So let's grab a blank template. And the recipe for a blank template is just honeydew surrounded by some glass panes, which is pretty simple for what they're used for. Uh, and then we're going to grab a bee, any kind of bee, any kind. So let's grab, let's see, we want to make it into, I'm not sure if these bees work. I'd have to look into that. Let's make it a meadows. All right, so we're gonna put the, oh, my bad. No, the sequencer goes first. Um, we put this guy in there and we put this guy here. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna go through all these genes here and it's going to turn this into a um, Meadows template. All right, so while that's going, I'll start explaining some of these other ones if it works the first time. Sometimes it doesn't work. So we'll wait on that. How about the isolator? The isolator. This one is pretty straightforward. So from any kind of bee, you get um, things with it. So you can get temperature, climate, um, you know, all that stuff that's in your, your bee elizer here. All of the um, environment, produce, evolution... All that stuff goes in here. You can separate them from the bee. So if we had, let's see, and I want, an imperial bee, 64 imperial bees, and we put them in here. They're gonna go into this spot. And now you need a, um, oh, it's in here. You need a bunch of these, and these stack into 32, which is actually kind of nice and you put them in there and what this does is it extracts the gene from the bee so let's say if you had xp bees bees that give you xp from their um, effect 
you could extract that from the bee, which is kind of awesome. Um, so if you had a bee that kills people, look at this, Imperial Species Serum. So this will basically turn whatever bee that you use next into a Imperial Bee. It'll work like an Imperial Bee. So this one um, is coming up here. And boom. And most likely gonna get the same thing. It's if you put these into them, they're gonna produce uh what do these produce? They produce well, I can't remember if it's royal jelly or um, pollen. I can't remember. I think it's pollen. Anyway, is this done? No, I forgot. I like I said, I recently found out about these. We need more bees. So let's just grab a bunch of drones. 64 drones should do us and put them in there and that'll go up so you need to put as many in here as this thing fills up and I'll be able to use that later on so the isolator it's getting oh slower production serum uh, temperature none so if you had a uh, bee that needed to be in the desert you could put this on it and it would work anywhere um, replicator. So, if you have a serum, like this one, you can replicate the serum. So let's, I'm not sure if it has to be full or not. I usually do it when they are full. So, I'm sure it works when it's not. And you'll get what I mean in a second. So you can put these in here, and it does work. And it will replicate this. So if you only got one, you could be like, oh, I'll put you in the replicator. It'll make multiple of them. But the quality is going to lower, which kind of sucks. Just a little bit. So you have this average quality here, which is all right, but we want excellent quality. And this one, oh, average quality. Look at that. So now you could take this and go to the purifier. What does the purifier do? It makes it better quality. It's great. Uh, so if you have a really, if you have a low quality one, you could put it in here and it'll give it higher quality. Mhm. Mm but you just gotta keep putting it up. Actually, we should probably fill it first, maybe. Yeah, you should probably put it in the synthesizer first um, before you make it higher quality because this the synthesizer makes it lower quality as well. Same as the replicator can. Even though it's not. Maybe it doesn't. I read that it does, but it might not. So this is what's filling it. Great, and then you can put it into here and get it better quality, which is fantabulous. Fantabulous. Now, you have this serum here, and this might be done. Yep, you have your template. Let's make another one. Um, make a bunch of them. Because you're going to need more than one. So these machines do take a long time. Um, they take a very long time, and I have a lot of power going to them. You just gotta, it's another be patient type of thing. Ah, oh, yeah, see, it changed quality. Haha, I read correctly. Great. So now that's good quality. Remember, it was average quality before, now it's good quality. And uh, usually I wait for it to be excellent quality, but we'll wait. Um, now we want to get a B. Like this guy. And put him in the inoculator. And then we can put the serum in here. Inject serums containing alleles into bees. Alternating their genes. Oh, there it goes. I was like, why isn't this working? So that's gonna inject this serum into the bee. 
which is, oh man, this is creepy stuff. <laughs> and uh, this is working. Fantastic. Once you get going on this, it's very easy to understand. So, all, all you need, basically, you don't need these guys. They're, they're kind of nice for breeding, but you don't absolutely need them. Um, so you need a gene pool. That is something you definitely need. You need an isolator. You don't necessarily need a replicator, but they're very nice. Um, hello. Oh, oh my. Um, you need a purifier. You need an inoculator, and you need a synthesizer. So really, you just need the gene pool, isolator, purifier, inoculator, and synthesizer to get the bees that you want. Replicators are very nice. You might want to get that, and these are very nice. They're very nice machines, but again, they cost quite a bit. Let's see what this guy cost. Let's see, it um, advanced machine. And you need so. There's quite a bit of crafting that needs to be done for these, um, and you can go ahead and look at the recipes yourself, because it's easier for you to do that than for me to show you. Take a look at the inoculator. All right, so the inoculation didn't work. If it worked, it would have went down in here. See what I mean? These bees right down here are the ones that it's like, hey, okay, we're all good. Um, so sometimes it has to inoculate the bee multiple times before it actually works. So if you had uh, serums that were for um, XP bees, you could put it in here and it might take it 10 times for it to actually work. And I usually put them on rocky bees, which you probably get a lot of too, um, because they can work anywhere. Literally anywhere they can work. So you can have it in the desert, the plains, or anything. So you can inject a certain species into a rocky uh, princess and drone. And uh, you're home free for that. So that's pretty awesome. Alright. So the sequencer is still working. Let's head over to the splicer. So now you want to change this modest drone into a uh, meadows bee. So you can take your modest and turn it into a meadows. It's very simple. All you need to do is make this template, which this does. So this meadows drone is going into this blank template, which will make a meadows template for it. And you take this modest drone, um, or any bee, any bee at all, and you can put it in here, with the meadows template, and it's this is poor quality. So it's probably not going to work. Um, this one's also poor quality. I wonder... Probably not. You probably... Oh, that's the wrong machine anyway. Yeah, no, you can't make them better quality. So... It kind of sucks. Yeah. So you kind of have to wait for the better quality. And look at that. It actually did work. The first time, which is rare. And so that bee just turned into a Meadows bee. But it's going to be a Meadows Modest. So I'm probably going to want to put this guy back in and have it work again. So it's just a process. All of these machines are a process. You get the serum you want, which uh, in the isolator here. And it does take the bee. So if you want to keep the bee, that's why I told you guys to... Um, <laughs> To keep a set of pure bees and uh, make another set of bees that you don't want and just kind of keep making the drones because you could put the drones in here um, that's why I told you to do that because you're gonna lose them if you get into this stuff all right let's move over to these guys um, some of these work and some of these don't work uh, these are kind of man I, they're not 100% useful there's only one in here that I would really use this guy, I don't think works at all. Um, it looks like you would put this in there, but you don't. It, you can actually put like water in here to make to change the bee's climate and uh, humidity. So I don't think this works because I tried it in a creative world. It didn't work. And I read it up on the wiki, and the comments were saying it doesn't work. It doesn't work. 
So I hope he fixes that soon, because it does seem like a a good machine to use. It does need power. That's all it needs. These all need power here. The indexer. This is something I'm going to use a lot. Um, you can put as many different kinds of bees in there as you want, and you can put over a thousand different kind of bees. I'm not sure if that means you can stack them or not. That's all it says. It's just a thousand. Up to a thousand bees. So you could put all these guys in there. Right? And you can sort it by none. So these guys are just going to be random. Um, you can sort it by species, which is really cool. Uh, type. So princess is drones. Or none again. So that's really useful and really nice. Then you have your data bank. And this is just like your Bealizer. So if you put a B in here, it's um, these four slots here. So you can uh, choose uh, different species, branches, and uh, how far you are into the bee breeding process. So all the species that you have done, can read up on them. Complexity three, consider the beginning. Of, oh yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And then uh, all the things that it can make, I believe, and genome. So you can just read up on a bunch of these. I'm probably not gonna use that, but it does give specifics. A comb every 2.2 minutes. Uh, climate to tell you all the biomes that this bee can be in. Every biome. Um, results. Uh, what you have unlocked. So, forest and the meadows is how we got our common. And I don't know what these discovered species are. I don't think. Yeah, all the bees that we've discovered. Okay, so the bees that we discovered um, and then undiscovered. And then further mutations is what to do afterwards. So, what you can use the common bee for. Uh, same with modest and meadow. So this is basically, if you're looking for a challenge to do, then you can do this. And you can be like, all right, I have all 215 species. I am the best. Um, I, When I worked on bees for a few months, I only got, I think, maybe 50 species done. So if you're doing this, this is going to probably take you about a year. I'm not even going to lie. Um, to get all the bees. It's like Pokemon almost. It's like Pokemon. <laughs> and uh, the branches too. Um, these are different types, types of branches that you can get. It's really awesome. So, these are the machines. And uh, again, if you get confused by these machines, go ahead and rewatch the video because these do get confusing. You see these big machines, and you're like, all right, which machine did that again? Was it the isolator or the purifier? I can't remember. Or the inoculator. I, I can't remember. So, again, reference the video or the wiki again. Um, I hope I explained things good enough for you guys. Um, and Meadows Modest Hybrid, I would put that in there again. Um, I hope I explained this good enough for you guys. Um, the next one, I think we're going to start the Gendistry. So we'll be going into the Gendistry mod um, a little bit. And um, you'll see that the Gendistry mod is kind of cheaty. I, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, I recommend just going straight up like this. It's more rewarding to me. Uh, the Gendistry mod, you can kind of... You can make bees in, in minutes, which to me is, is kind of cheaty. But anyway, we'll get into that. Uh, should, shouldn't be... Well, actually, it might be a long video next time because I'm going to go through the whole entire mod then. But this is basically it for extra bees and um, the forestry mod. <sighs> this is a lot of stuff, and... There's big things you can do with bees, and it's going to help you out a lot in your world. So, have fun bee breeding. 
And uh, next time we come back, we will be looking at the gender stream mod. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great night, day, evening, whenever you're watching this. Mountain Goats, peace out.